Hi, and welcome to my quick guide of the quest Death Plateau. There are no quest or stat requirements. Any items that we will need are 101 coins, 10 loaves of bread, 10 trout, and an iron bar. For the recommended items, as always, some weight reducing armor and one stamina and energy potion. And then also a pre made blurberry special. If you will not bring this along, which you can easily buy from the Grand Exchange or in the Gnome Stronghold, then you will need to bring along like an extra 5000 GP if you are very unlucky. For the teleports, I will be teleporting a lot during this quest, so I will be bringing along two game necklaces of combined over 9 game necklace charges, one teleportation method to any bank to grab your loaves of bread as well as trout, and then also one teleportation method out of birth dope after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is right here in Berthope, just north of Taverly Village. And let's talk to the north and select option 1 twice. Next, let's already teleport to Berthope and let's go to the castle. Let's go north, enter the castle, and climb up the stairs. On the second floor we should find a guy called Eorek, dressed in purple. Let's talk to him and select option 1. After we've spoken to him we will teleport back to Berthope and let's go to the inn. Or the pub. The one with the beer sign, the big building, and let's go to the south eastern corner and climb the stairs. Let's enter the final room of this hallway, try to open the door, and we will need to talk to Harold. Talk to him and select option 1. After we've spoken to him, let's teleport back to Berthope and return to Eric on the second floor of the castle. Let's talk to the guy dressed in purple, and after we've spoken to him, we will need to return to the bar. Alright, let's teleport back downstairs, and let's enter the bar. Now, on the counter, before we're going back to Harold, there will be a Eskaran Ale. Let's pick it up off the counter, and then let's return to Harold. Alright, let's enter and talk to Harold and select option 3. After you've already given him the first beer, we should now hit number 3. Can I buy you a drink? And he will want a blurberry special. Next, after the third conversation, we should select option 2. After he said, ah, that hits the spot, let's talk to him and select option 2. Would you like to gamble? As for the amount you want to gamble, he owns 100 GP, so let's put in 101 so he will get bankrupt. Now you'll see this interface. Wait until you see a roll dice button, click on it. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, you'll win automatically because he is drunk. He doesn't have enough money, so he will give you an IOU. Next, let's teleport back to Berthope, to the castle, and let's go back inside. And while on the way there, let's click on the IOU to read it. And it will transform into a combination. Read it, close it, and now go to the western wall and you'll find a couple of shit. Pick up the stone balls and don't attack the NPCs, that would be bad. First, the blue ball, he needs to be on the southwestern corner. Then the red one needs to be just north in the midwest. Then next to the blue one in the southeastern corner, that should be the yellow one. North of the yellow one is the purple one, and next to the red one. And then in the northeastern corner, that will be the green one. And that is the equipment room unlocked. Let's now go south and exit the castle. We will now need to run west of this castle. We will now need to run west of the castle and hug the northern wall. We will need to see a some kind of cave here. And enter the first cave you see while running northwest. Inside of this cave, you'll find a guy called Saba. Talk to him and select option 2. Once we've spoken to him, let's exit the cave 
and we will need to continue running northwest west northwest just keep running west northwest until you can't go any further west there take the southern path until you see a hut enter the hut and talk to the npc inside of it Open the gate, open the door, and keep pressing the spacebar until he lets you enter, and then talk to him to select option 1. After we have gotten the boots, let's teleport back to Birthope, and we will need to go to the smith located on the eastern side of this town. Keep going north, northeast, the most northeastern building, that is a smithing sign. Let's talk to Smith Dustin. After we've spoken to him, we will need to go once again to Birthope. We will need to go to the north, the quest start. So let's teleport back to Birthope and let's go south. Keep running south until you see the north. Let's talk to him. until he gives you some kind of paper. Once you have this, let's bring this to Dustin. Be sure to bring Dustin the certificate, the iron bar, as well as climbing boots. Once you give him all three items, he will give you some spike boots. Once you have this, let's go to any bank to grab our loaves of bread as well as the trout. Once you've unloaded your bread and your trout, let's go back to Birthope and let's give the spike boots as well as the fish and the bread to Tenzing, located at the distant hut. Alright, back at Tenzing's hut, let's enter and talk to him, to give him all the items and he should give us some kind of paper, in return. Next, once we have this, let's exit his house north, and climb over the stile, to get to the mountain path. Next, keep following this path until your character talks to himself inside of your chat box. The first warning we should get is a regular game warning. There we go. Just ignore it and keep running down this path until your character talks to himself. After he talks to himself or herself, let's teleport back to Birthope and let's run south to the north to complete our quest. Let's talk to the north. And congratulations, you've completed the Troll Stronghold quest. You are awarded with 3000 attack experience, 1 quest point, steel claws, the ability to smith your own claws, as well as unlocked the Troll Stronghold quest. This was my quick guide how to complete the Death Plateau quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.